Hello, today we will talk about a uh, Delta EtherCAD Remote I/O module. You can see the system architecture as here. We use a uh, AXA uh, motion controller connect with a uh, R1EC uh, Remote I/O. So you can see the uh, R1EC uh, coupler five five double O and connect to a DIA uh, module. After that, we link to a uh, DBP. This one is actually a uh, Delta POC. And now we have a uh, uh, Ethercad remote uh, coupler. So you can see RTU e ECAD. This one is our uh, DBP uh, POC uh, Ethercad coupler. Then we connect to another uh, DBP 16 SP. This one means we have uh, add input and add output. Here we will show you the Ethercad slab uh, synchronization mode. So you can see for R1EC and R2EC, the synchronization mode, we have a DC synchronize and the free run. And one more thing I want to highlight here, you can see for the different module, uh, like a 5500, uh, the uh, starting uh, address is 1001. And you can see for this uh, digital input module, the address will be 1002, 1002, okay? But you can see here, uh, we only do the di uh, distribute uh, clock in a uh, couple for the module, no need, but it will have an uh, individual uh, address or we call ID. And back to uh, RTU uh, DBP series, uh, it's okay couple you will find only have a uh, SM synchronized and uh, DC synchronized. However, for the DVP uh, IO, no matter it's a digital or analog module, you can see here we can we don't have a uh, individual address. Okay, so here you can see for the R1 and R2 EC, we have an uh, individual one. However, in DVP series, we don't have so here we'll give you a, great, a brief summary that uh, for every module it will have its own ID uh, for R1 and R2EC series. So this was similar to back of a uh, module. And regarding uh, DVP RTU ECAT coupler, this one will have only one ID. So it was similar to a uh, Omron module. And if you want to check the detail definition of this uh, synchronization mode, you can find uh, more clear information from back of website by search uh, synchronization mode of an ESO case lab. So uh, here just uh, briefly uh, mention the difference. So if you select a free run, that means you, once the module uh, receive the packet, then it will activate. I mean, it will take action to keep the output or show the input. And for SM2 and 3, they will be activated when uh, this module receives the PTO. So our DVP POC would select the SM2 and 3 mode. And uh, here we have uh, DC in 4. And actually for DC would have uh, more modes, but here I did not show. Okay, and come to the Delta Remote IO module, so you will see our one easy series, we have the coupler and we have the pulse uh, output module and this one is for pulse input uh, 5614. Uh, for the digit, digital digital input, we have a six, uh, 6002 and 6022. Uh, this both uh, have a 16 input. Uh, the difference is the response time is a uh, uh, 2 milliseconds, one is uh, less than uh, 0 0.1 millisecond. And you see the uh, R1 EC is uh, 70. All these are for uh, digital output, and all the modules are 16 output. And if you see the R2 EC, this one have a 32 input and with a 32 output. Then if you see the R1 EC uh, 81, that means it's an uh, analog input, and R1 EC uh, 91. This one is for analog output. For DVP series uh, coupler, we call it RTU ECAT. And you can see it's uh, based, uh, with maximum 128 uh, digital input. 
uh, plus uh, 128 digital output as well as the maximum uh, at spatial, mo uh, spatial module. But here just remind that uh, maximum would be a uh, 14 uh, module on, uh, at the right side of, I mean the right side of uh, ECAT. So we will switch to uh, software portion. Okay, first of all, we will link to the controller. So we will go to device and press uh, scan. Uh, when you, you see the device become green, right, that means already build the connection. After that, we can go to EtherCAM master and the scan for device. So here you will see uh, we can auto detect uh, our one EC uh, coupler and we can also find the input module. However, in the DPP series, we can only search the uh, ESA CAD IO, uh, sorry, the uh, uh, coupler. So later on, we have to man manually add on the device. And as I mentioned, we use the 16 SP. So here we can uh, insert the device twice. After that, we can go to IO mapping. And just remind you that on the top is actually the digital output. So for example, now here we add on our three digital output and then we can go to application and add on the trace. So later we can monitor the trace. Okay, here we will select the variable we define. So we will add on three uh, digital, uh, sorry, variable. Okay, after that we can do compile. One thing I forgot to mention, we can check uh, what I show in the what slide. So you can see this is the it's okay address, and we can select the DC synchronization or free run. And you can find for R1 EC uh, digital input module. Here we cannot select the mode. And the for uh, RTU is a cat. You can see we have only one. And the uh, distribute uh, clock, we have a uh, same synchronization and the DC synchronization. However, uh, in the uh, DPP module, we cannot uh, do extra setting. Okay, so now we can log in. switch to run. 
So let uh, please remember to download the uh, trace. So you can see now all the value is uh, zero. After that, we go here and trigger this to run. And then we can uh, back to trace. So you will see here is uh, switch to uh, on. And then we uh, trick all. Trigger all. Okay. So you will see now all the device uh, have uh, switch to on. But uh, remember, uh, sorry, just remind that if. Uh, uh, you did not write any program then remember to switch the setting here otherwise you will you will find the POC would not give any output so let's uh, do the modification here So definitely you can monitor this and now if we turn this off so we run this okay. <coughs> and we can check the trace again so you can see now only in the uh, DVP uh, DO output one of remain And we, now we uh, force all us uh, uh, output. So you can see now everything becomes zero, and then we can uh, stop the trace. So you can see the difference uh, is actually changed. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you.